talk about this guy Tom Brady. Wait, hey. Well, when we talk, well, it seems like every week we got a bad drop on this video. This might be the top notch bad drop that we ever see. Shout out to Cohiba for this story, man. What you say? The bad drop 48 million. <laughs> I can see. We, we were talking about money that the kids didn't have. We talked about Zion and uh, what's it, John Morant. They didn't have that money in their hands. I heard these guys put up. 30, he put up 30, his wife put up 18 million in FTX. Yeah. Lost it all? Yep. Yeah. Lost it all in the Ponzi scheme. I wonder if it led to the divorce. I wonder oh. if it led to the divorce. Yeah, it did. You know that. You know that led to the divorce. God, no. The crazy thing of dollars will make you rethink your whole life process. I don't care what nobody <laughs> said. Thanks. Right. Yeah, how much you got? Thanks, man. I got to say that too, man. I, I believe she was like, Tom, you got me involved in this. Tommy, it's time for you to go. You losing my money? Because, you know, she she the breadwinner in the family. Tom, Tommy was worried about too much football and wasn't concentrating on the money. And she said, honey, you, you're tired right or not. <laughs> so, I, nice. know, I know a little bit about the FTS scheme. If y'all don't know, I'll give y'all a little breakdown. FTS is a cryptocurrency exchange. Now, when you keep your money on exchanges and cryptocurrency, it's like you're giving your money to a bank that's unregistered, unsecured, un unmonitored by the SEC. And when you buy the cryptocurrency, it say they give you a number just like your bank account. Let's say you got a thousand dollars in your bank account. Well, let's say you got this cryptocurrency, you got this much Bitcoin, you got this much Ethereum. So what the exchange did was just lie to everybody. They was accepting all this money, advertising, uh, venture capital money. They was just bringing it all in. It was hiring Tom Brady and pay him a million dollars to do a commercial. And Tom Brady, I guess, and like Steph Curry, Shaq, even uh, the dog on Miami Heat Arena took money from them to to uh, be named after named their arena after them. They gave money to political parties, Joe Biden. They did it all. So. They just said, hey, this is what you got in here. And when people went to withdraw it, at the end of the day, it was a bank run. And it was no money there. So when you were dealing with cryptocurrency, you need to own your own keys. Like I say all the time, no keys, no cheese. Now, you can go to my Money Bros on Trees channel and you go look that up, Money Bros on Trees Network with Jake Fever. But... That's besides the point. He lost all his money because he believed in somebody that gave him some money. It was it was like uh what it was a three card Monty or something like that. You three card Monty. And take your money. They show you. He the money. They show you the money here and then they move the damn thing. But it's how they remind me of Daytona. Shout out to BCR. Yeah, they show you the <laughs> they remind me of the classic. <laughs> now listen. Tom, Tom Brady should have called his boy. He should have called his boy Antonio Brown and said, "Hey man, hey, hey B, tell me how to take that money out before they take all the money, man." Because <laughs> hey, AB can't be there about it, but you hear me? AB, hey, no, he I, couldn't. <laughs> he couldn't. Hey, I heard AB paid the people and then pulled it all back from the account. <laughs> AB so slick with it, but AB shot them. It was only like. $200,000, hey, he said, I need all that. I heard he took it from like $59 different people. Well, $200,000 chopped up between $59 different people ain't a lot of money. Like three grand for everybody. You <laughs> know what I'm saying, man? That man ran a, he ran a Ponzi scheme on, on uh, you know, Indo football players, man. Come on, man. <laughs> man, AB, AB snitched, though. AB told, AB told Kanye that Tom was hollering at uh, old Kim Kardashian. Right, and that's why they all feel like they be a snitch. Hey, hey boy, your snitch conspiracy theory. Who else you say snitch? Uh, John Morant, uh, homeboy. Yeah. Uh, but I got. Yeah, he snitch. snitch. I got a clip. I got a clip. His snitch conspiracy theory. Bro. <laughs> 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 but everybody snitch. But your eyes, boy, God, no.